Hello, my name is Amanda Wong. I'm a Vancouver actress and I play Mei Su in Hallmark Channel's hit series, When Calls the Heart. So when we're not on set, our schedules aren't super defined, but for me, I like to kind of keep organized and have a system in place, which means I like to try, <laughs> keyword try, to be active. I'll, you know, just enroll in classes or I'll do a little bit of pottery. I'm not very good at it, but I'll try it. <laughs> I like to do a little bit of mixed martial arts to try to keep my fitness there. And I just try to go for walks and take breaks between memorizing lines all day. Now when I am on set, there are some days that I start at 6 a.m. and there are days that I start at 6 p.m. And the drive is really nice, actually. I usually listen to some calming music or I'll like pump up some high energy, fun, fun music to like kind of get me revved up for the day and I really like that. And as soon as I get to work, I'll go straight into the makeup and hair trailer and there they do some magic on me for the next 45 minutes. So I have hair that's relatively straight like this and um, Jody will put it into beautiful curls and usually do an updo or something really pretty. And then Deneen will do my makeup in a flash and everything just like looks really beautiful in 45 minutes. And then I'll head to my trailer and then I'll get changed once, twice, maybe three or four times. My costumes are super amazing on One Calls the Heart and I just really like how Barbara made it so that you can really clearly define a color palette for like every single character. I think it's so amazing and so wonderful and beautiful. Because we started filming season nine in August, which is right when the heat wave was happening, we go from these extremely hot temperatures to wind and rain and then to very, very cold temperatures. Hi Hardies, we are filming the episode with Hope Valley Days and it is raining outside. So some days you're using an umbrella because it's rainy or some days you're using an umbrella because it's super, super sunny. And some days it's new shoe day. Just got new shoes today and they're navy blue and they match my skirt perfectly. I hope you guys are having a great week. Our production manager, Mike Magnuson, he usually likes to batch up our scenes together. So for instance, if I have two or three scenes in a day, he'll try to put them together, but depending on who else is in your scene, it's not always possible. So sometimes we have like long stretches of time when we're not on set. So when that happens, I'll go exploring or I'll put on a movie or I'll take a nap, which is very, very common. <laughs> or I'll get something from Crafty, or I'll film a BTS video, which I really like to do. But my favorite thing to do is to go see what my castmates are doing and go hang out with them. Action. And then we get to go on set and then we get to collaborate with our castmates and chat with the crew and just work in this artistic, synergetic environment, which is so lovely. So when I found out about getting When Calls the Heart, I was actually in Kelowna filming Raise a Glass to Love, which coincidentally, the horses on Raise a Glass to Love were the same horses in When Calls the Heart. So I got to hop on and I got to do a little gallop around, which was very, very fun. And in my audition, I got to sing. And forever in peace may you wave. On the day we actually filmed me singing, but for whatever the reasons may be, timing or just, logistics or whatever have you. It didn't make the final cut, but hopefully we get a singing episode in season 10. That would be so, so lovely. There's so many singers in the cast and oh, just a musical number would be so fun. Reflecting on this whole process now, it's been such a dream to work with the cast and the crew and all the people behind the show. There's John Tinker, Peter, Neil, Siobhan, Andrew and Mike who are our DOPs and everyone has just been so kind and so, so welcoming to me. and. I just feel so blessed. And I've been so blessed to have the support of the fans of the show too, and um, just wanting to see more of me and my culture and support for me. It's just been such a dream, and I'm so grateful, so thank you very much. Now, for some footage from the very last day. And then once we've said our goodbyes, it's time to take out the pins from our hair. So in my case, I've got like 50 million of them. Say goodbye and make the drive home and then head to bed. Thank you so much for watching this video and for watching the show and supporting us.